If you manage to develop an anti-aging diet or create a time machine, or in some other way manage to be alive and on Earth on the Tuesday afternoon of September 24th, 2182, then there is a chance that you might be looking up to see a big asteroid flashing down towards Earth. Here are the details. NPR reports NASA scientists calculated that asteroid Bennu has a higher chance of hitting Earth than previously thought. The scientists used new data from NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft to make a more precise calculation of Bennu's orbit. That spacecraft managed to snatch a sample of dusty pebbles from the asteroid in October last year and is currently on its way back to Earth to drop off the precious cargo. NASA found that the single likeliest impact moment would be on the afternoon of September 24, 2182. On that Tuesday, Bennu has about a 1 in 2,700 chance of hitting Earth. An impact would pack the energy of more than 1.1 billion tons of TNT, roughly 2 million times the energy of last year's devastating port explosion in Beirut, Lebanon. The NASA team reached its revised estimate by pinpointing Bennu's distance from Earth to within about 7 feet at dozens of times between 2019 and 2020. That level of precision is like measuring the distance between the Empire State Building and the Eiffel Tower to within a few thousandths of an inch. The OSIRIS-REx spacecraft arrived at Bennu in late 2018 as NASA's first and humankind's third attempt to sample the surface of an asteroid. The spacecraft managed to successfully snatch a sample in October of 2020 and is currently on its way back to Earth with it. Before grabbing the sample, OSIRIS-REx spent nearly two years orbiting and studying rubble-strewn Bennu. Not all big, Earth-threatening asteroids are spotted before they come uncomfortably close to hitting Earth, and even for those asteroids we do see coming, it can still be hard to calculate just how likely collision actually is. Asteroid Apophis is one of these dangerous asteroids. Discovered in 2004, the 370-meter-long rocky blob is on NASA's Century List, a list of asteroids we should be keeping an eye on. Scientists don't expect it to hit Earth during its next close flyby in 2029, but they're worried it might slam into Earth in 2068, as it comes this way again. In a recent presentation to the American Astronomical Society, scientists David Tholen and Davide Farnokia showed their research showing why the asteroid should be studied in detail when it passes in 2029, to get a better idea of how close it will come to Earth in 2068. They say that work needs to start now to be ready in nine years' time. While the risk of Apophis hitting Earth in 2068 is around 1 in 150,000, an asteroid that size would cause a blast larger than an atomic bomb, so it's best to double-check the numbers. NASA created a fictional asteroid and set it on course to hit Earth six months after being discovered by humanity's early warning systems. Earth's scientists worked together to stop the doomsday rock from hitting Earth, and this is what happened. NASA reports that it recently hosted a test to see if Earth's best scientists could stop an asteroid from hitting the planet. In the scenario, a fictitious asteroid was detected six months before it would hit Earth. The participants in the simulation considered various missions in which spacecraft could try to destroy the asteroid or deflect it off its path. Most options to deflect an asteroid, such as deflection via a high-energy impact or a gravity tractor or an ion beam shepherd, work by only slightly nudging the targeted space rock. If performed far enough in advance, that small nudge builds up to become a large shift in position by the time the asteroid gets near Earth, but participants concluded that such missions wouldn't be able to get off the ground in the short amount of time before impact. However, they found that using a rocket to deliver a nuclear explosion on or next to the asteroid could save the Earth. Unfortunately, a nuclear bomb would only be able to make a difference if the asteroid was relatively small compared to the giants that had hit Earth in the past. Currently, Earth's early warning system does inspire confidence. Comet Neowise, a 4.8-kilometer-wide chunk of space ice, passed within 64 million kilometers of Earth in July. Nobody knew this comet existed until a NASA space telescope discovered it approaching only four months earlier. In 2013, a meteor about 20 meters in diameter entered Earth's atmosphere without warning. It exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, creating a shockwave that broke windows and damaged buildings across the region. More than 1,400 people were injured. One of the biggest risks facing humanity right now is the fact that we don't know if a massive asteroid is on its way to kill all life on Earth. This is because space is so big that even huge asteroids are almost impossible to spot. But now NASA is creating the best tool for spotting an Earth-killing asteroid before it's too late to do anything about it. Here are the details. 
NASA reports that it has green-lighted a plan to finish and launch its near-Earth object surveyor mission by year 2026. The NEO surveyor will be a six-meter-long space telescope that will use infrared imaging to boost the chances astronomers have of finding large objects that might hit Earth. Every night, astronomers across the globe use ground-based optical telescopes to find new near-Earth objects, or NEOs, and determine whether they pose a threat to Earth or not. But these ground-based optical telescopes are only able to look for NEOs in the night sky. Currently, there are no known NEO impact threats to Earth for the next century. However, unknown NEOs can lead to unpredicted impacts, like the Chelyabinsk meteor that exploded over Russia in 2013, which went undetected because it came from the direction of the sun. The NEO surveyor will use infrared sensors that can help astronomers find objects approaching Earth during the day from the direction of the sun, something that can't be done from ground-based observatories. In 2010, NASA completed its goal of discovering 90% of all near-Earth objects larger than one kilometer in width. In 2005, the agency was directed by U.S. Congress to find 90% of NEOs larger than 140 meters in width. To date, NASA says it has found 40% of the objects within this range. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.